a long time ago, I decided that I wanted to do something that was more meaningful with my music. I played the bar gigs, I did all that, and I wanted to really focus on that. And then when John and I met, he f we exchanged those same sentiments. When we met, we formed Vegetable Matter, and uh, it was just basically free experimental music within kind of like a pop confine or structure. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was just Bring like... Bring me back. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. I mean, we used to play bowls of water and pans of water and, and just have kind of psychedelic jams. And, and that's kind of where the, the whole idea came from, just total freedom and flow. It was always flow. And there's always been... Once, I think it was the initial conversation, once we decided that it was going to be called The Water Band, we uh, kind of just went into this natural flow. and We were kind of hitting a, a sound at first, you know, like it was a sound. We wanted this watery, liquidy, flowy kind of sound. But we, and we also knew that we wanted to do something real groovy with, uh, you know, something, you know, special with music beyond just playing music. And uh, but then uh, through the whole turn of events where we kind of parted ways for a while and came back together, uh, you know, flash to the present, we started to realize that maybe the, all the while, all along, water band was supposed to be something that was connected to the actual cause of water and helping people who don't have it have healthy water at least. A water fest came about just through discussions with John and I, and it's like. How is an instant way that we can affect the world in a bigger way than just with our, you know, playing music? Well, how, how can we attach ourselves to that? And all it took was a discussion about water, and then we're, at, you know, looking on the internet and checking out, well, there's a, well, there's a world water crisis. There's not enough clean water, and uh, it's just going to get worse as the population grows. And there's um, 1.1 billion people who don't have access to clean water. And just people are dying daily, ch mostly children and women. Most of them live in, you know, very rural and poor areas. And they sometimes travel up to, you know, 10 miles, 20 miles a day to bring home a gasoline container full of water to sustain their family. Um, so it's, it's a real hardship and most of the time it's the women and the children who are walking these distances and, and trying to bring water to their families. Even over in, in the places where we're talking about, there's some places where the water even looks clean. You know, but it's not. It's not healthy water. There's, there's all kinds of bacterial problems and stuff. So. Um, I always had this this picture in my mind of, you know, in places in Africa like this cracked desert land with no water, and that's not really the case. There's there is there's access to water. It's just not healthy water. The Earth is is the same percentage as our brain overall, the percentage of water. But there's only I, I think, think not. not. <laughs> but there's only uh, there's only two percent of water. Uh, that's drinkable water, and we can only get to one percent. For the last at least two billion years, there's been the same amount of water on Earth. So it's not going anywhere, it's just how we distribute it. So there's no fear of actually running out. And they can take salt water, which is not part of that one percent drinkable water, and, tr and change it into drinkable water. But it's expensive to do that. And we're, we're just getting into researching and trying to find all the different ways and what's more efficient and what's, what's the easiest way to maintain this because you can go in and we can try to help a village or something um, and it may only work for a little while then you have to maintain these things or you know so it's, it's, it's education, it's ecology, it's you know uh, technology. We're trying to make a difference with our music and with Waterfest. I feel comfortable saying that everybody feels like they're a part of the band, like they're part of the movement, uh, if you will, you know. Um, people were very excited about Waterfest because they, they too felt like they were doing something beyond the 
you know, it, you know, the festivals are a great time. It's a great party. You're partying for a weekend with lots of friends and family and everything. But everybody had this feeling of like purpose. You know, there was a sense of accomplishment all the way across. Like when we were done, not only the band and all the other, you know, the staff and everything, we raised uh, a little over six thousand dollars, and uh, and we're gonna. We actually set a record at Nelson Legends Quarter Park for the most money raised for a charity in one event. That's going to help build the Water Band Foundation, the Wishing Well, Water Band's Wishing Well. Water Band's Wishing Well is um, an organization that hopes to bring clean water to people all over the world. We hope the Wishing Well will be a vehicle for us to uh, take, do something with our music and create a community and grow that community and awareness and just spread the positive vibrations through Waterfest.